Hi everyone, I'm back today with one of my um, rotational works in progress. Um, I tend to have a few on the go so that if I get a little bit tired of one I can always switch to another. And this one is called uh, Bewitched and it's a design by Lisa Parker. It's called a Heaven and Earth Design. Um, there's a website called heavenandearthdesigns.com and you can go in and they've got some really beautiful, beautiful cross stitch patterns for download. Um, they are, they do come in different sizes. This one is a mini. There's all different types of variations that you can have in these cross stitch patterns. So as you can see, I've done quite a lot in this one. It's um, really, really very, very fine little stitches. I, I did find it difficult. This is actually the first pattern that I've done on a 25 count fabric. Uh, the fabric is called Even Weave and the holes are pretty small. But I decided to do um, tent stitch, which if you're not sure what that means, it's basically just half a cross stitch. So instead of doing a full cross, you will just do half of the cross. So it's just one single stitch, which I always do from bottom left to top right. But it does actually make it look, it's really, really fine. And I, I'm not quite, um, I'm not that too worried about the, the coverage. Some people actually prefer to do um, full crosses because they think that the, the, well, maybe they just don't like the coverage that they get with a um, tent stitch. But I'm using two strands. And when I go with two strands over one stitch, it seems to be enough for me, it seems to be fine. And I know that when I have it framed and up on the wall, it's going to look really good. So this is Bewitched and I'm working with a pattern that is a digital pattern and I'm working on my tablet. Um, some of my kits uh, patterns come with a paper pattern, which is, there's not much you can do except just mark off the pattern itself. But there's so much more you can actually do with the digital pattern. There is the actual pattern itself. And what you do is you have all your symbols down the side and you basically just zoom in to, just to the area that you're working on. So if I want to work on this little square, if I zoom in close enough, I'm going to get those symbols up on that square. So at all times, this will automatically save for me. So when I go back into it, I don't need to worry about saving the file, and coming back and making sure that I've got the most recent one. Um, what I can say about the digital format that I like is that you can highlight, as you can see here, this particular colour, 938, is highlighted throughout the pattern. So you've got, dis you know distinctly where all the stitches are to be for that particular colour. Now some people like to go do one colour at a time throughout the whole pattern and <coughs> I've actually experimented with different ways to do this and I'm not 100% decided. Now there is one way which people are familiar with called parking and this is what I have here at the moment. So parking is basically leaving your threads hanging at the front of the fabric so that you can later pick them up and when you come to do that particular stitch so you can pick up a thread, say for instance this one and you'll just leave the other threads hanging. I really like uh, this particular method because it saves me time because I don't have to keep fastening the threads and re-fastening, re-threading my needle and carrying on. I can just keep picking up the thread as I go. So I've been doing little sections, little squares, and as you can see, I've reached to this edge here, and then I will carry on with another 10 by 10 square, and then I might pop over to this 10 by 10 square. So these threads are really parked from these rows above. The one thing I can say that I dislike about this parking method is the fact that you can get into a real tangle with these threads and sometimes I, if I parked in the wrong place that will complete, completely confuse the hell out of me. Um, if I park in the wrong place I won't know which hole it's in, I have to go back and check my chart to see which hole it was supposed to go in and then maybe there's a different thread in that hole and then it all just goes pear-shaped. So the, the important thing with parking is it's really imperative that you park in the right hole, uh, otherwise it's just going to be absolute chaos. The other thing um, I dislike a bit is the fact that it's quite slow. I mean if I was to just do 
one stitch, three stitches up here, another couple of stitches down here. It's going to be tedious going along, parking here and then parking here again and then parking here. The whole point of these designs is that you cannot be impatient. If you are an impatient person, I absolutely recommend not to do um, at least anything bigger than a mini in a heaven and earth design. Um, we absolutely love them and there's people that buy lots of charts and they simply just can't get around to doing them in a single lifetime. So <laughs> it's probably best to just bear that in mind. I actually started this one last year, but I started different ones as well in the interim. So it kind of got put to one side and then brought back out and then put to one side. And that's okay, but as long as it gets finished, for me, I feel like if I don't actually finish it, it's going to be a waste. It's just going to sit in a corner. And I do actually love this design. I do want to have it framed. So today I'm going to do a little bit of stitching. And if you want, you can join me. That would be great. And we can chat a little bit more about cross stitching. So I'll see you then.